Hey, good morning everybody. This is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Hey, today we're going to put together two Chester drawers for the kids' room. And you're going to need some tools. You're going to need a drill. You're going to need extra battery for your drill. You're going to need a hammer. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need some pliers. <clears throat> and maybe a flat screwdriver. So let's get started and see how we can put these things together. Box one and box two makes one chest of drawers. So we gotta open up box one and see what's in it.
nails in here and we hammered them in. And now we're going to put these on the back side right here. And just put them in kind of gently. Don't need to be hammered in or anything. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. And one just like that. So those are all in. And now, got to make sure that, see the hole there? See how the cam is there? You got to line that opening in the cam up with that so when you put the pin in there, it, it will lock. So now we'll put this in here. And we're going to lock that in place with a Phillips screwdriver. Just turn it till it stops and that's as far as it will go. You don't need to do anything else. So now we got the that would be the front side. Now we got to get the back side done. So we got some back pieces. We got three back pieces we got to do a similar thing with here. So let's figure out what that is. Put the, we'll put the wooden dowels in them and then we'll get to that. Okay, now <clears throat> make sure you put these cams in right. They have a little arrow on them and it wants to be pointing at the hole here. So the cams go in pointing at the hole. And then <clears throat> these go. The cams on these particular ones go to the back side. So everything's on the back side of this one. I gotta put one more wooden barrel right here. Okay, so now, let's see. 
a dowel won't fit in here because after we get this side on, there's going to be a screw that goes in there. So now that I think we got all the pieces and parts together here, now we're just going to pick this piece up and put it together. This is going to be tricky. see on the back side here you have all these dowels we'll tighten those up with a screwdriver in just a minute <clears throat> and then down through here we have to line all these up and this one right here has a cam on the back of it or will have and we'll lock that in with the cam because it has that dowel the silver dowel that has a cam on the back of it and like I said right here there's a screw that goes here so we'll get that in a minute so let's get back to it So now we got to check out the book and see what the next step is. Just like that. And now on the bottom, I'll move the camera around in a minute. On the bottom, it has these four glides that one goes on each corner. So now we'll put these on the bottom. Well, that fell in awful easy. Now you can push those in with your hand. Don't even need a hammer. So that's the glides for the bottom. Got those done. Now, we've got that done. Oh, okay. We got this other screw that goes in the, put that one in so it goes over here. This is the bottom kick plate. And we'll just screw it in there with the wrench that came with it. And don't over tighten it, just tighten it to where you're satisfied that it's flush. That's good enough. We have four more of these that we're going to screw into that. 
You can use a screwdriver if you want. I'm cheating and using my Ryobi drill. And when it hits bottom, just don't go no further. Just, just screw it down to where it fits. That's it. Just like that. Now, what's next on the list? Now we're going to move this out of the way. We're going to move the top out of the way. And we're going to stand it up. Starting, starting to look like something now. And they go in the back. And in the front, they go in the front. I'll show you a close-up of that. Well, here for your cam to lock the top down and the pin goes in the front hole and in the back hole on both sides. So now we're going to put the cams in the hole. We only had four left and we got four holes so that's good. And again you want to put it to where the opening is up. Opening is up. And it also has a little arrow here that's pressed into it that shows you to put the arrow towards the opening, towards the hole. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now we're ready to lay the top on. So now we put all the pins in here, put the locking uh, cams in here, and put the dials in the top. Now we're going to put this on the top. Now you see one side's not finished, that side will go to the back of the dresser. This is the front. in here we're going to tighten up those cams just tighten it till it locks it down you don't have to over tighten it or anything okay we're going to do the same thing on the other side And now that part's done. So now as you can see, it's a, quite a bit of work putting one of these things together. But it's worth it. It's real sturdy. It's from Ikea. And uh, I'm satisfied with it. Getting ready to put the drawers together next, and then we'll slide those in. So let's get on to the next step. Now the sides have a left and a right side. you got to make sure you have them right. You can tell by the groove for the bottom piece you have to line those up so you're going to put your dowel in here that goes lines up with your locking cam and your dowel here that's just to line up with the dowel that gives you better strength and you put those in just like that just like that that one there goes there that one goes there and now we need to tighten those down so put this one here and tighten them down And again, just tighten them to it until it uh, hits bottom. Once it hits bottom, don't don't try to don't try to over tighten it. Okay, now next thing we're gonna do is we're going to install the bottom. Now, you want the white part inside the drawer because the bottom side is not finished 
you know you want it on the outside so the white side's finished we're going to slide it right in here just like that make sure it goes all the way down in there and then you have your back piece that has a groove in it that's going to line up with this and it's going to kind of fit inside there and it's going to flop a little bit because now they've supplied us with these drive-in little pieces and we're going to take the hammer and drive those in just line up the holes where they go and I'm going to come over here and do one over here so it's lined up good and you get two for each drawer just like that now that's the drawer is finished just like that as you can see they just drive in flush makes a nice square and then this drawer will go in here just like that that's pretty nice and now they have one more thing you got to put a little dowel in here to keep them keep them from pulling the drawer all the way out that's these little things here it's a plastic screw you just put it in there screw it in there on each side and once you're all done with that it has a stop it won't come out any further than that they never came with these before, but this is new. It's a little little piece that goes in the bottom there. I'm going to show you how to do that. They just slip in here. One in the front and one in the back in the middle. Got one in the front and one in the back. And then we just... Screw that in like that. Let's put that one there. Screw that in like that, and man, that really makes for a solid drawer. That really finishes it up nice. So now that's good and solid good and solid. Now I'm going to do the rest of the drawers like that. Now the battery life, I'm about out of steam myself. I got this one done. All I have to do is put the drawers in, put it in the bedroom, let the kids put their clothes in it, and we're good to go. Before you soon, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the video. And go shopping at Kia. Ikea. Have a good day. Talk to you later.